five, four. Here we are with the clock made by Peter Hill. Crafted in 1797, this clock may no longer tell time, but it does tell a fascinating story about New Jersey history. Peter Hill was born a slave in Burlington County, New Jersey, but he earned his freedom through a process of manumission. The papers are still on file at the Mount Holly County Courthouse. The family to, it, to whom he belonged was a very distinguished clockmaking family here in southern New Jersey. Peter Hill later emerged as a clockmaker himself. The clock that you see on the left was made by Isaac Pearson, the family patriarch and first clockmaker of this distinguished family. He trained his son-in-law, Joseph Hollinshead, who made the clock at the right. It was Joseph Hollinshead's son who was Peter Hill's master. When Peter Hill was living in the vicinity of this family, he learned the techniques of clockmaking. And later, after he earned his freedom, he went into business for himself. The clock front and center is a Peter Hill clock. He made the inner workings of this clock, the mechanism that tells time. This skill was highly prized and required mathematical knowledge and precision skill. Peter Hill then hired somebody to make the beautiful tulip wood case. During Peter Hill's time, tall case clocks such as this were the biggest, most expensive items in people's homes. This clock is important because it tells a story of how a slave who became free could go on to become a very successful businessman here in New Jersey. It's a story of success, and it's an artifact that the New Jersey State Museum is proud to own. I encourage you to come and see this artifact in our long-term exhibition, Pretty Big Things, Stories of New Jersey History. Thanks for watching.